Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 4 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to finish the second floor. And as you can see, we added uh, the windows using curtain wall. And we added the walls and and we made some faucet and in this video we're gonna continue working on this let's add in the floor so let's click on floor and then edit type let's duplicate this and name it as floor number one press ok change the thickness to 200 and change the material let's use gypsum wall board press ok and then ok and then now we're on level 2 let's click on pick lines and then let's click on from the inside And we're just going to clean this up. And then after that, we will need to turn on the underlay. It's because we need to edit where the location of the balcony is. So for now, let's click finish. Don't attach. And then let's go here at the under properties and turn on underlay to level one click apply and then after that we will need to select the whole floor again so that we could end edit the boundary and then now we could add in the floor so i'm gonna add this floor up to here and let's see or maybe from the inside so i'm just gonna click this again delete this and then now we need to trim so tr after that click finish don't attach and then let's look at it at 3d so now it looks like this what we could do is we could push this back up like so so we could align that as well from the top so al for that and then we could add in um, a curtain wall there and pull it down so that we could have um, the railing here and we could actually just pull up this from the height of the railing so I'm just estimating it right now and we could do that as is like that so we don't need to put a railing there so it will be the look or, or the design aspect of that and then here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to level 2 and I'm gonna pull this up to here I think that's good enough or more than enough for that and then now we could go back to the underlay and put none for the base and so far everything is looking good I'm just double checking the alignment from this wall to this wall so far it's good and this one we already checked earlier
okay so this one looks good now let's add in the floor for the bottom so level one click on floor again and then let's choose pick line and for this one we need to click on from the outside Okay, so now we just need to close them off like this one. So TR, TR and then trim and extend those. We could edit this type, duplicate. This will be floor 2 and then let's change this to something stone. We could pull that one here. and choose this field stone press ok and then ok and then click finish so now we have this and then we could add in the garage and some grass so let's determine that now so go back to level 1 And then here, let's add in another floor. Let's add in the grass first. So edit type, duplicate, floor number three would be the grass. So let's look for the grass. After that, press OK and then OK. And then what we are going to do is we're going to add grass from here. I want it to have on the side as well. So I'm just going to add it like that. And onto the side and then let's click the outside because obviously this is not all grass And then what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to cut it. So I'm just going to delete that or extend this. TR. I'm going to delete this and I'm just going to extend this one like that. And then SL split and then TR right here. So this one will be not grass, but this one will be all grass maybe instead of that we need to extend it like here because I want this one to be all concrete and then maybe we could just pull this one like that or we have we need more room because we're gonna put in a gate so let's 
click finish and this is all grass now and then now we need to click on floor again edit type duplicate floor number four and this will be concrete so let's look for concrete so it's supposed to be up here let's look let's do this concrete precast and then now let's use this pick line and then after that tr to trim and extend and then just click on this and then click finish We can even extend this and add in the pool if we want to, but rather just stick with this. And then we're going to add in a wall. So I'm going to add in an exterior wall. I'm going to duplicate this. Edit type change this to concrete so let's masonry and then let's add in the concrete I don't want it to be center line I want it to be face exterior so like that and then we're gonna change the gate. And I wanted to show in 3D so that I could pull it down. I don't want it to be too high. So probably around 1500 will be enough. So negative 1500. negative 1500 and then negative 1500 on this one we might pull it up later on so so far everything looks nice so next thing I want to do is add the roof so Go to architecture and click on roof and let's go to level two and then after that edit type duplicate roof one press ok edit type let's make this 200 and let's do this as Gypsum. press ok and then ok again and then here actually let's go to level 2 and then we should set it to level 3 base level so now we could use spec line and from the inside And then after that, we actually need to uncheck all the slope. So I'm just going to undo everything. Pick this line and then uncheck this. So don't make my mistake. I forgot to, un to uncheck that. And then once you do, go to the perimeter, the inside of the wall, 
and then I'll type in TR to clean it up. And then just double check everything. If everything is done correctly. And then click finish. And let's look at it at 3D. For this one, let's base off this, offset this to negative 200. That's the thickness of the roof, so that it's flat like that. And then click on all of this, so holding on control button. Click all the ones that showing at the top. And then once you do, click on this. And then click on the roof, so it will disappear. After that, let's just double check everything. And then here, actually, I'm going to pull this down. And then I'm going to add in a small glass curtain wall that I could just change afterwards. So level 2 and then wall. And then change this to curtain wall. Let's add it from the inside. And then right here as well. And then we could just manipulate this. Okay. Now go to 3D. And we could just basically do it like that. So now I could use this as an align and make sure that to pull this up as well. So it's good enough for a uh, railing for now. I'm planning to pull this down a little bit. I'm planning to add in some shaders here. So let's start here. I'm going to pull this down a little bit more like that. AL. And let's do it on all of this. So far, so good. We have this. And then we could add in more of the design that we're planning to do. So we're going to stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.